Don't buy a brand new house. Hi everyone, my name is Fadi Kuder. I'm a local realtor with Sutton, Ottawa. And if you like this channel, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe so you can get more videos about our real estate and know a little bit more about the Ottawa market. Seven mistakes that people make when they're buying a brand new home. Mistake number one, they fall into the builder's marketing scheme. This is pretty common a lot of the times when you're buying a brand new home. The builders, obviously, their job is to sell as many homes as possible. So what they do is they have a lot of the times promotions and things like that, $50,000 off the showroom, $50,000 off in upgrades, things like that. A lot of the times what we don't know is that home prices, when it comes to brand new homes, they are already at a premium versus resale. You are buying it at the highest of the market because it is definitely supposed to be a brand new product. So don't fall into the trap. Figure out what's needed for you and make sure that you have the right agent to represent you. Which brings me to mistake number two. They spend too much money on upgrades. A lot of the times what happens when you're working with the builder and you get, you know, the flashy upgrades here and there and, you know, uh, upgrading floors or upgrading kitchen, it's not always your best bet to be able to do this with the builder. What you need to do is you need to kind of sit down with a specialist or someone that works in new home construction, someone like myself or a realtor that's specialized in new home construction and have them give you their contacts and bring in some contractors to kind of weigh the odds and really weigh in the situation, whether you want to do it with the builder or you want to do it after the fact. A lot of the times it ends up being cheaper for you to do it right after the build is done. Mistake number three, they forego the inspection. I can't stress this enough. A lot of the times when we're doing a brand new build, the client relies heavily on the fact that the builder is using an inspector, a city inspector, if you will, to get the building occupancy permit. This is well and dandy. However, their job is to really just get that occupancy permit. And what that means is that the place is safe and it's livable. It doesn't mean that they're catching every single imperfection and every single sort of issue with the home. This is why you should spend that five to thousand dollars on having an inspector to come in because at the end of the day, that inspector works for you. It doesn't work for the city and their best interest at heart is serving you, which means they will have a list of laundry for the builder to kind of go back and, and prepare. Now, this is different if we're doing a resale. A lot of the times with resale, we kind of pick and choose what we want to go back to the, the sellers, negotiate that. But when you're buying a brand new home, the expectation is that these all are fixed. So make sure that you do not short yourself out on the inspection. Mistake number four, a lot of the buyers rely on themselves going out and driving around the city and figuring out the neighborhoods that are around the city that do brand new builds. This is a huge mistake. I mean, gas ain't cheap. What I would suggest is hire yourself a realtor that knows the city really well that have those connections with the builders and know that there is certain properties and certain areas that are having brand new builds. And in fact, a lot of the times they'll have a lot more negotiation power with the builder because of the fact that they're bringing a lot more clients to them versus you just wasting your gas. And mistake number five when you're buying a brand new home is not understanding the terminology that the builders use. This becomes an issue when you're trying to buy something. For example, I'll give you one of the simplest examples that I have. One of my, my clients bought a brand new home only to realize that the plan itself is actually flipped. So it's the same exact plan. The builder is not really changing anything, but they have it flipped. The orientation is completely off. They still had to close on it because at the end of the day, that's what they signed up on. It's always good for you to understand the terminology. And the best way to understand that is hire somebody that knows what they're doing, which obviously bring me to mistake number six, not hiring a agent to help you with it. It is absolutely ridiculous when I find that folks going out there and buying a home without hiring an agent. And the reason being, as a buyer, you really do not owe that agent commission as they are getting com compensated by the builder. And the builder already factored in the fact that they're paying an agent in this. And whether you try to go into the builder alone or you try to go with the agent, they're still going to charge you the same even. And the best part about it is that negotiation power that the agent has is a lot more than you, you can because they do this every single day. Mistake number seven, and this is the last one. It's just kind of a reiteration for the first one there, number six. And what that is, it's not hiring an agent that is specialized in brand new build. It's great that to hire an agent, but sometimes you want to make sure that you're hiring an agent that's specifically working with new builds. It's a little bit different nuances from buying a resale. As with buying the resale, it's a little bit less hectic and, you know, and not a lot goes as far as the resale goes in terms of in the process, where with the brand new build, there's a lot more on the go. You really have to kind of understand PDI and all of the other terms and terminologies that come with it and understand what it's like to close on a brand new home.
So make sure you hire an agent that is specialized or have worked in the past with brand new homes. Thanks again, guys, for more videos like this. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That way you can get alerts for every time we get something new. And hit the like if you like it, so that way the algorithm can put us out there for folks like you to let them know about the real estate market in Ottawa. My name is Fadi Kudair with Sutton Ottawa. Thanks again for following.